John Murphy, the word of this conversation continues to be resilient. So I'm going to go back and ask you to define exactly what that means. And also to that point, are these companies, are these pharmaceutical companies doing enough to anticipate where there may be some of these shortages in order to be resilient? Yeah. So I think, you know, what does resilient mean? I think resilient in a perfect world means a situation where supply demand, where the demand can facilitate an immediate shift in surge for that new demand. So you have the ability of a supply chain to pivot in a way that goes from cost of day-to-day -day production to move over to uh, assess and, and take care of demand that is unexpected. So on the one hand, you have expected uh, resiliency. You know that at some point you'll have to take a plant offline to do a thorough reboot or a thorough cleaning and you can shift production. What we do it, what we have heretofore done a, a fairly poor job of is anticipating how to respond to unanticipated demand in products or unanticipated shocks to the supply chain. Your final thought, challenges and or opportunities moving ahead. So I think a, a brief challenge is to ensure that we don't get uh, to Marta's point, so subsumed by this idea of onshoring that we lose sight of the fact that in the healthcare side, patients uh, and the industry is global. And so onshoring and creating a resilient supply chain just for the United States does not help the broader global population of sick individuals in the case of a pandemic or in the case of um, uh, broader global health policy challenges. And so ensuring that our governments work together coming out of the pandemic and harnessing those things that they understood went right and those things that they understood went wrong to collaborate to ensure that we have sufficient operability of a supply chain globally so that patients in any one corner of the, United, uh, of the world aren't left in the dust uh, when we inevitably face another global public health challenge in the future. And we will face that, correct? Yes, absolutely. It's a matter of time, not a question of, of if.